Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Higher Mathematics and today we have a really interesting exponential equation 8 to the x plus 2 to the x equal to 68 and we need to find our x. How can we do this? First of all, let's create the same basis on the left hand side because right here we have 8 and 2 and if we write this 8 as 2 cubed it will be really interesting for us because take a look closer right here, let's write this 8 as 2 cubed, okay? 2 times 2 times 2 equal to 8, okay? And we'll raise all of these to the power x because we still have x. What do we have next? We have plus 2 to the x and equal to equal to 68. Okay, this is our first step. What are we going to do next? We should know a really great rule of interchange, okay? We, we can easily swap this 3 and swap this x. We can write this also as 2 to the power x raised to the power third, okay? We can easily swap these uh, powers because of a product right here, okay? So plus 2 to the x equal to equal to 68. Okay, this is our second step. And right now, if you look closely, we have completely the same expression right here, 2 to the x, and completely the same expression right here. So this is 2 to the x, and this is 2 to the x. So it's a really great moment to make a, a substitution right here. So let this 2 to the x, it will, be, it will be easier for us to solve this challenge. So 2 to the x equal to, for example, let's go with t. And right now, let's change all these 2 to the x's with, with, this, with this t. What do we have right here? We have t cube, okay? So we have t cube plus right here we have t and equal to equal to 68 and right now if we look closely this looks like a cubic equation this is really great moment for us because if we can easily bring this constant from right to left and as a result we have a classic cubic equation so we, what do we have right here we have t cube plus t and minus 68 which is equal to zero. This is a classic cubic equation. Let's solve this really interesting equation. There are a lot of approaches, but I want to show you the really great trick right here. So let's write instead of this t, let's write, for example, okay, let's begin with this t cube, but instead of this t, let's write the next expression. Let's write right here instead of this t cube, instead of this t, let's write this expression minus 16t and plus 17t, plus 17t. T. And this is absolutely the same as right here. So if we added this, we have the same t as right here. So this is absolutely, it changed nothing for us, but it helps us a lot. And we still have minus 68. So minus 68 equal to zero. So right now let's open our parentheses right here. So what do we have right here? t cube minus 16t. So minus 16t plus 17t minus 68 and equal to zero. So right now let's group, let's group these elements, these both elements, so let's take these elements inside parentheses right here, and this one, so the pairs right here, this take inside parentheses, and this takes inside parentheses. Right now if you look closely, t cube and t, we can easily factor t from this uh, parentheses, so what do we have right here? We have t, and inside parentheses, what do we have right here? We have t square minus 16, okay, t square minus 16. Plus, right here we can easily factor 17, okay? If we factor 17, we have inside parentheses t minus 68 divided by 17 equal to 4. So we have t minus 4, which is equal to 0. Okay, so I hope you understand this step. Right now, if we look closely, we can write this t square minus 16 as right here. Let's look at it. So right here we can write it as t square minus 4 square. And it helps us a lot because this is a classic formula. So plus 17, so we still have 17 and t minus 4, which is equal to, which is equal to 0. This is a classic formula, a square minus b square. Everyone should know this formula. This is a classic all-known formula. For example, if we have a square minus b square, we can also write it as a minus b and times a plus b. Oh, doesn't matter. We can easily start with a plus sign, doesn't matter. So this is our formula that we really need this formula right here. So this is difference of squares. Let's apply this formula right here. So we have right here t, and we multiply this t by, right here we have t minus 4, and t plus 4, t plus 4. And we still have this expression, plus 17 and minus, uh, times t minus 4. So plus 17, and inside parentheses we have t minus 4, equal to 0. Okay, brilliant. Right now, if we look closely, t minus 4 right here and t minus 4 right here, we can easily factor this t minus 4. We have the same expression, so let's do this. So we can easily factor this t minus 4. So what do we have right here? t minus 4. This is our first parenthesis. And second parenthesis, I take in, in other brackets right here, something like that. So what do we have? From this first expression, we have t and t plus 4. So we have t and 
times t plus 4 and from the next expression we have plus 17 so plus 17 which is equal to which is equal to 0. Let's simplify this expression a little bit. So what do we have right here on the left side? We have t minus 4, so it changed nothing, so t minus 4. And the second parenthesis will be equal to t square plus 4t and plus 17. So t square plus 4t and plus 17 equal to 0. Okay, so finally we factor out a challenge. We have two parentheses and right now let's solve this challenge. Of, of course we need to know that if we have a product of two parentheses equal to 0 then first parentheses equal to 0 so we need to split our, our solutions right here. So the first parentheses equal to 0 so t minus 4 equal to 0 and the second parentheses equal to 0. So t square plus 4t and plus 17 equal to zero. So let's start uh, solving this with uh, next uh, with the second case right here. So let's find discriminant at first because this is a quadratic equation right here. So discriminant equal to b square. What do we have right here? 4 square minus 4 times a times 1 and times c times 17, which is equal to, let's subtract it because right here we have 16 minus, right here we have 68, yeah? So as a result, our discriminant is negative. Our discriminant equal to minus 52, which is less than zero. So it implies that in this case, we have two complex roots. Let's find this root right here. So t second, t second and t third, because it, it will be our first root, it is our t second and t third, which is equal to. So we know formula, we have minus b, we have minus four plus minus, square root of our discriminant, so square root of minus 52, minus 52, and lower, lower 2, which is equal to, let's simplify this a little bit, so this square root of minus 52, we can easily write it as, mm, take a look closely, we have minus 4, plus minus, this square root of 52, we can write it as a square root of minus 1, times square root of 4, and times square root of 13, okay, and all over, all over, all over 2. This is a complex unit, we can write it also as i right here, so as a result we have minus 4 plus minus, right here we have i, complex unit, and square root of 4 equal to 2, we all know about it, so times 2 and times square root of 13, square root of 13 and all over, all over 2. We can also divide uh, all this, uh, this expression by 2 and this expression by 2, okay? So as a result we have minus 4 divided by 2, we have minus 2 plus minus i square root of 13 or, or square root of 13 times i. These have a two complex root according to t, for, for of course, because right here we need to find our x. But let's solve this question, of course, at first uh, according to the t. This is according to t. And let's solve this one according to t. So we have t minus 4 equal to 0. So from here t equal to 4. But this is our uh, solution according to our t. In the beginning we had a substitution. So 2 to the x right here equal to t. So we need to know that 2 to the x, so 2 to the x, equal to equal to t. So let's find at first our first root. So 2 to the x equal to t but t equal to 4. So we have 2 to the x equal to 4. Next step 2 to the x equal to 4 uh, to a square. Yeah and from here our x equal to x equal to 2. This is our x first according to real number root because this is our real real root right here. But also let's find our complex root right here. Let's find all roots right here. So first of all we know that 2 to the x equal to t. But t equal to this expression. Let's start for example with with addition. So what do we have right here? So let's split this part because this is a real number root and let's find complex root right here. It will be really interesting. So we have 2 to the x equal to t. But t equal to minus 2 plus minus square root of 13 times i. Let's write it in general. Let's write this one as, as x first and x second. So right here we have 2 to the x equal to this expression, equal to t. So we have minus 2 plus minus square root of 13 and times i. Okay? Okay. Let's take it inside parentheses and let's apply classic log property. Let's apply classic log property. So this is a power, this is our base, and this is our expression uh, on the on the right side. So we, if we apply log rule right here, a classic log rule, we'll have like the next solution that x equal to log, this is our base, this is our 2, and this is expression our minus 2, minus 2, plus minus, square root of 13, and times i. Okay, this is our complex root, this is our second and third 
root according to complex numbers theory. Okay, right now let's write our answer, our general answer right here. So our answer, our answer, x first equal to 2, this is our real number root, this is our real number root, x second and x third, x second and x third equal to log 2, log base of 2 of this expression minus 2 plus minus square root of 13 and times i. This is our all root to this to this challenge. This is our complex root right here and this is our real number root right here. Let's check it real quick. What do we have in the beginning? We have a to the x right here, a to the x plus 2 to the x equal to 68. Let's check it real quick. x equal to 2. So what do we have right here? 8 square plus 2 square which is equal to 68, which is absolutely correct. 64 plus 4 equal to 68, which is a great solution. Okay, this is our answer to this challenge. We find all solution. I see a lot of videos on YouTube uh, according to this challenge and a lot of students, uh, a lot of teachers, a lot of professors solve this challenge with this one root, with this x equal to 2, but it's really great to solve this challenge as you uh, completely, com completely solve this challenge because we find complex number root right here and it's, it's really great. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you have question to this challenge, write your suggestion down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. Thank you everyone for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. See you in the next video. Take care and have a great day.